Hi, Royal fans and modelers. Today we're going to be reviewing the Broadway Limited 484T1. Reading T1. Reading. Hi, Royal fans and modelers. Today we're going to be reviewing the Broadway Limited Paragon 2 Reading T1 484. This is the excursion version for the Iron Horse Rambles that happened in the early 60s. This is number 2124, which is in display at Steamtown right now. Um, the MSRP for this locomotive is $399.99, but you can get it as low as $249.99, uh, probably used. And um, the Paragon 3 upgrade kit is also available for this, which I might be getting later. I need to uh, wait for Broadway Limited to reply to my email. Um, and yeah, let's get into the review and see what this engine's all about. Alright, so starting off with the details in the front, we've got the KD coupler right here. Uh, we have footboards, air compressors, uh, headlight here, which on the camera seems to be blinking, but it's actually not. Uh, same thing kind of with the Allegheny, how it flickers because it's so bright. And my camera kind of has a low frame. Um, we got the number plate here, number 2124. We've got... Um, 2124 on the side. We've got a swinging bell moving towards the front here. Uh, we've got the air compressor exhaust. We've got um, smokestack, uh, sand dome, water dome. We've got uh, nice drivers with white walls. Uh, this is a 484 Northern. Uh, We've got um, dynamo, whistle, and there's actually another option here to, I don't know what why it's there, but in the box it came with another whistle, so you can swap that out with this one. Uh, we've got safety valves, um, the cab hatches open, oops, there goes the building. set to the side here so the cab hatch is open just like uh, most Broadway limited steam engines we've got um, 2124 displayed nicely on the side of the cab uh, we got T1 there injector firebox um, moving towards the back we've got um, two cab figures in there and in the tender, we've got a real coal load, uh, Redding, um, labeled nice on the tender. It's a nice plastic tender, not bad. Um, we've got the axles here, and we got a toolbox right here, ladder, ladder on the back, a uh, water hatch here, and we've got uh, 2124 labeled on the back. Another KD coupler, coupler cut lever, um, footboards, and a nice bright light on the back, which I will show in a minute. Um, let's get into the sound and see what this baby sounds like. All right, so to start up this engine, we press F9. And we can hear the dynamo and uh, some of the sounds will start rolling in in a minute. There's the ear pump. Air compressor. There's the injector going off as well. And keep in mind this does have smoke but it's uh, about as old as the Hudson, um, I do need to clean out the smoke unit from excess smoke because the previous owner hadn't run this in a year and a half, so, um, yeah. So, F0 is the headlight, which appears to already be on. I need the dynamo to turn on. Uh, F1 is the bell.
F2 is the Reading Hooter. And let's go ahead and check out the other whistles. So this is CV224, value 0, 1, or 2. Uh, let's do the first one. I like that whistle right there. I don't know what that is. Maybe a six chime. And let's go to the third whistle. Not sure what that is, but uh, the kind of whistle that is. But to be honest, um, they're all prototypical for Reading T1. I do want to say that I'm going to stick with the second whistle. I really like that a lot. So F3 is couple slack. And F4 is the air compressors. F5 is blow down. Oh my gosh, this is a loud engine. F6 is the injector. F7 is dim. F8 is mute. F9 is a startup. I'm not going to go through all the sounds here. It's going to go through um, just a fair amount. Uh, F10 sounds like the Stoker. Now I'm going to go to Crew Talk here. There's the uh, Crew Here's the uh, Craven, er, passenger announcements. Uh, we got some more. Can talk here. Yep, it's not too close to the track right there. They can unload it right there. Yeah, they're going to allow them to start unloading and set it all on the drill track. Okay, that's how far. Down's kind of draining that out right now. You might want to call them on channel 44. 44, thanks, sir. Spacing drinkers at 34, they're a little too close. The Bigelow says they went over to clear the crossing. 700 has the big load for the grade. Yeah, we may need a pusher. Okay, Roger that. Alright, so I'm going to hook up a few passenger cars and see how the spin runs are on my way out. Alright, so I've got a three card train behind this engine. I know that ain't crap to a broader limited engine, but uh, I'm also trying to see what cars work on my layout and what cars don't, and uh, what can handle my radiuses. So, um, <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, let me just uh, get out of here. Okay, it all depends on whether or not I can get the switch lined up. So, uh, call back these trains. 
Alright, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this preview. Uh, sorry I had to cut the cars short and I didn't have too many run bys. I had a couple of problems. Um, apparently this thing does not like tight curves so I'm going to have to fix the layout a little bit to support it. So um, that's not going to be too much of a problem. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay cool and stay on track. See you later.